If your cycle is irregular, can you confidently calculate your fertile window and know exactly when you're fertile and when you're not fertile? If you can do that, please keep us a comment and tell us exactly how you do that. Thank you so, so much. If you cannot do that, please follow us through and see how you can actually do that. Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining us in this episode of our health discussion. So on today's discussion, we'll be looking at a comprehensive explanation of our menstrual cycle vis-a-vis -vis how you can get your fertile window during irregular cycle. So for people with irregular cycle, this video is very, very important for you. If your cycle is regular, this video is still very important because you are going to understand the aspects of the menstrual cycle vis-a-vis -vis irregular menstrual cycle. So thank you so, so much. If you're joining us for the very first time, please, Click that red subscribe button and hit notification. If you have been here before, may God bless you. Thank you so much. So, for you to actually get how your fertile window for irregular cycle will be understood, now you need to understand all of these points. So, the very first thing you need to do is to calculate your menstrual cycle. That's the very first thing. So, you need to understand how you can calculate your menstrual cycle. So, after you've calculated your menstrual cycle, the next thing is to get your ovulation. After that, the next thing is to get your fertile window. After that, the next thing is to get the lowest ever ovulation and the highest ever ovulation. Remember, if your cycle is irregular, you will actually have different ovulation days. The next thing, after you've had your ovulation days, you need to get an ovulation test kit. An ovulation test kit here will help you now to know when you will actually ovulate. Now, let's start with the very first one, how to get your menstrual cycle. So, Menstrual cycle is something that some people actually think that it is that easy, straightforward. No. You need to understand, you need to learn it. So, how do you get your menstrual cycle? Your menstrual cycle is from the day you start menstruating to the onset of the next cycle. What do we mean? So, if you start menstruating on the 1st of September, for example, and another menstruation starts on the 30th of September, it therefore means that cycle is 29-day cycle. Because you stop on the 29th, why on the 30th of September is the beginning of another cycle. That is why we say you start counting from the first day you saw your menstruation or your flow to the onset of the next flow. So if you see that if you start flowing on the 1st of September and another flow begins on the 30th of September, it ever means the onset of the next flow is 29th of September. So your cycle is 29 days. Let's take another. Let's say you saw your cycle on the 1st of September still and another cycle comes on the 25th of September. Then that cycle is 24 days. Because 1st of September is the beginning and 24, that is when the cycle stops and 25th is another beginning of another cycle. So 24 is the onset of another cycle. That is how you do to get your cycle. Let us take, for example, October. You saw your cycle on the 1st of October and on the 30th of October, another cycle comes. It therefore means you are a 29-day cycle. If you saw it on the 1st of October and on the 22nd of October, you saw another period. It therefore means you are a 21-day cycle. So that is how you get your cycle. Now, we need to understand that everybody is not 28. That is why you see we are using, we've not even mentioned 28 day cycle. We know a lot of ladies when you ask, you say, no, you're 28 days. You cannot be 28 days if you see your period and another period comes after 20, maybe 29 or maybe even after 30 days. So you are a 20 day cycle if you see your period on the first of a month and that period and another one comes again on the 21st of a month and that one is 20 days even though the shortest cycle is 21 days and the higher cycle is 35 days so if you have 20 day cycle virtually it will mean that your cycle is somehow a little bit down and if your cycle is about 35 meaning if you have 36 for example it therefore means your cycle is somehow up more than the usual the next thing is how to get ovulation so how do you get your ovulation the ovulation day is gotten mathematically by taking the total of your total cycle, which we have done in the first point, minus 14. So if you have calculated, for example, and you have 30 days, and you must do this calculation of the first day you saw your period to the onset of another flow for at least five, six, seven months. 
So if you do that for at least five, six, seven months, and you are sure that now it is 25 days, for example, it is 24 days, for example, it is 29 days, for example. Now you move to the next step, which is how to get ovulation. Ovulation is that cycle minus 14. So if we take the cycle, let's say you've calculated and it is 21 days. So 21 minus 14, you have what? Seven. So for people with the shortest menstrual cycle, their ovulation is seven. People with the highest of menstrual cycle, their ovulation is the 21. Because if you have the highest menstrual cycle, you have what? 35 minus 14, which will give you 21 days. So that is how you get ovulation. So ovulation is what? Your cycle minus 14. Now, the next thing is your fertile window. How do you get fertile window? Fertile window are four days before ovulation and two days after ovulation. So you have four days before ovulation plus ovulation and two days after ovulation. So if, for example, your cycle is a 30-day cycle, then it therefore means that what? Your ovulation day will occur on the 16 because 30 minus 14 will give you 16. So four days before day 16 and two days after day 16, you actually have what? You are fertile window. So you have the 16, you have the 14, the 16, the 15, the 14, the 13, and the 12. Then you have two days after the 16, which will be what? 17 and 18. So from the 12 right up to the 18 will be your fertile window if you are a 30 days cycle. So that is how you get your fertile window. If you take, let me say, fertile window for somebody who is a 21 day cycle, which is the shortest ever menstrual cycle, then the fertile window will be what? First of all, the ovulation is the 7. How? Because 21 minus 14 will give you 7. So you ovulate on the, on the 7. Now, you take 7 itself, then you have what? You have 6, you have 5, you have 4, you have 3. Then you take 2 days after the 7, you have 8 and 9. So your fertile window will start from the 3 right up to the 9. You see that for someone who has the shortest menstrual cycle, the fertile window begins on day 3. And day 3, most ladies are actually menstruating that's why we actually say that you can actually menstruate while you're fertile now after you've had this fertile window what is the next thing to do for people who have irregular cycle this is very important take the lowest ever ovulation you've had remember ovulation is your cycle minus 14 so if your cycle is fluctuating it therefore means that what you may have 21 day cycle, you may have 25 day cycle, you may count and it's 30, you may count and it's 32. So let us take the shortest ever cycle you have was 21 day cycle and you counted another one came 30 day cycle. Take that oblation for 21 day cycle. Oblation for 21 day cycle will be what? It will be what? It will be 30 minus 14. It will be 21, sorry, minus 14. It will give you the 7. So 21 minus 14 will give you 7. And therefore means that ovulation is 7. Ovulation for the highest menstrual cycle will be what? Will be ovulation for 30 days, which is 30 minus 14, that gives you 16. It therefore means your fertile window will start from 7 right up to 16. So you have 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. You see that it is a 10 days different. But it is better because you know that all of these are days that you can probably be fertile. How can you actually get the ovulation day for this irregular menstrual cycle. This is now the final point that is you have to get an ovulation test kit. So you get an ovulation test kit. With an ovulation test kit now, it will tell you that now your ovulation will occur maybe in a day or two. So why you've calculated, for example, like we said, the lowest 21 days and the highest 30 days, you see that what ovulation for the lowest and ovulation for the highest will be from 7 right up to day 16. So you start doing your ovulation test to have now the exact day of the ovulation because your fertile window is from day 7 right up to day 16 so you start running ovulation test from day 7 right up to day 16 you are seeing you are going to see that you will actually know when you will ovulate by doing this i hope this is actually clear for everyone to understand so thank you so so much for following May God bless you. Please don't forget to subscribe and you share this article out to friends and family members. May God bless you. Have a wonderful time. Thank you.